when you look at bearings like these, you know, there's a whole lot of layers going on. Yep. Very thin layers of coatings of copper and Babbitt and all of these different things. Um, you know, tell me, how has that changed over the years? Are there more layers, less layers? What's the difference? Well, the changes are subtle and gradual, but there's a steel, hardened steel back, and then there is a bronze, copper collared intermediate layer. Many of you see that because you wear it into that sometimes. Don't point at me like that. <laughs> and then, <laughs> then on top of that, actually, no, people don't know this, but we nickel plate that intermediate layer before we put the babbit on top. And the reason is there's lead in that intermediate layer and lead in the top layer. And if we don't nickel plate it, that's a process called diffusion takes place. And lead will actually travel from the top layer down into the intermediate layer and weaken the bearing. Well, we know all that, so you don't have to worry. So, you know, we do a lot of little subtle things to this bearing. We change the geometry slightly in a performance bearing. So we change the crush, make it fit a little bit tighter because we know you're going to ring it pretty hard. So we do a lot of subtle stuff so you don't need to worry. And what's the website again? And can they actually say, hey, Bill, I got a question? Yeah, they can say, hey, Bill, I saw you and Chad together and I got this question. It's askmollyclevite.com. That's the dialogue the... page there, you know, and every one of them goes to me. That is the coolest thing. I had no idea, I have to say. Um, again, I have Clevite bearings and Molly pistons and rings in several engines, and I love them, that make between 400 horsepower and 1,400 horsepower. And if you have a question on what you need for yours, call Bill, because he's good. We love it. Thanks, Chad. <laughs>